walked by the corner store in the dark of the night. I saw a strange scene of artificial light and human activity. The store shone like a beacon in the darkness, drawing moths that fluttered around its entrance, seeking fleeting satisfaction or relief. I closed my eyes and pretended the traffic was a rushing stream, flowing with a wild and free spirit, but the smell of exhaust soon shattered my illusion. I opened my eyes again and saw a patchwork of asphalt and concrete, crisscrossed by white and yellow lines that marked the boundaries of society. The cars that occupied the spaces were like metal cocoons, sheltering their occupants from the cold and the stars. I listened to the hum of engines, the slam of doors, the jingle of coins, and the murmur of voices. I smelled the fumes of gasoline, the stench of tobacco, the aroma of coffee. I felt sorry for these restless beings, who seemed to have lost their connection to nature and themselves. They were living in a state of constant distraction, unaware of the beauty and mystery that surrounded them. They had exchanged the simplicity and harmony of life for the complexity and discord and commerce. They had forgotten the value of things, and were chasing after shadows. 